Hello, this is Paul Cowell, a Whitestone Country Inn. Have you ever jumped to conclusions and just been completely wrong? i got enough stories about that that I can tell you uh, how bad it is when you just assume something that's not so and uh, you uh, say things you shouldn't say. Uh, I've had that experience here at the inn a couple of times when I asked a lady uh, not long ago when the baby was due and there was no baby due. Uh, really, really bad. Uh, I can tell you some other stories about that, but I don't want to embarrass myself. Stephen Covey tells a story about a man on a subway in New York. Uh, maybe he was an acquaintance of Covey's. I don't remember. And uh, it was nine o'clock at night. He was riding home and the subway was pretty empty and a man got on with three children at the next stop. The children were uh, misbehaving. They were throwing paper and jumping around and one of them bumped into this acquaintance of Covey's. And he uh, finally said to the fellow sitting there, not paying attention to his children, just looking down, said, sir, you need to get your children under control. They're bothering me. And the man said, I'm sorry. And he got the kids sitting down by him. And he turned back to Covey's acquaintance and said, uh, we're, I'm sorry about that. We're just coming from the hospital and their mother just died. And I just wasn't paying attention. The man said uh, he didn't know what to say. He just got off at the next stop and waited for the next train. Uh, we've all had those situations where we, we just jump to conclusions. We uh, say things that we shouldn't say because we think we know what's going on. I was taking a guest to the hospital. Uh, he had a, they thought a heart attack. As it turned out, it wasn't, but he was elderly, and uh, he was sent here to get some rest. Uh, his wife had Alzheimer's and he was a caretaker and uh, he was struggling with some age related issues and he uh, called me and said, I think I'm having a heart attack. So I'm driving him into the hospital and uh, I'm on the interstate. I've got my flashing lights on and I guess I pulled around some young ladies in a car a little quicker than I should. I don't think it was real dangerous and I wasn't going 100 miles an hour, but I was speeding. And it irritated those girls. So they pulled around me, uh, giving me some hand signals that I think I understood. And uh, then they pulled right in front of me and slammed on the brakes. And uh, I uh, skidded, got around them, uh, got onto the hospital. But I so wished I could have just stopped and said to those girls, I've got an elderly gentleman in the car here that we think is having a heart attack. And uh, you just are really not understanding the uh, intensity of this moment and the severity of it. I would encourage you as you go through life to try to ask questions for information without judgment. Don't jump to conclusions. When you accuse somebody of something that's not true, you've uh, really created uh, a difficult recovery. Ask questions for information without judgment because when we're criticized, all communication stops. And uh, don't assume you know until you ask. How many times I've been uh, completely surprised by what people said when I thought I knew what was going on and I, I didn't know what was going on. So just a piece of advice to today. Don't jump to conclusions. Ask for information. Don't assume the worst. Give people the benefit of the doubt and wait until you know before you judge.